First, would you rather pull off your fingernails than shop for jeans? The answer is probably yes, am I right? But the right pair of jeans is crucial to any wardrobe. So joining us now to help us find the perfect pair and fit is wardrobe stylist Walla. 2018 is all about the denim. It is a bear shopping for anything denim. It's kind of rough, yeah. So you're here to help us out. Yeah, there's a lot of things I think that can help you out when you're shopping for denim. Things to look for. Sometimes you get stretched, sometimes you get them too stiff. What do you look for when you're shopping for denim? When you're looking for the blend, I never will buy anything if it doesn't have some sort of spandex or lycra in it. Sure, which is most women. Why? Yeah. Because it gives you that great feel. You of, can sit oh, in them. Yeah, they're, they're fitting in my stretch. They, they really work out. They fit great. But what happens after you've worn them once or twice? You start kind of sagging in the back. Yeah, the knees bag. Things stretch out. Mm -hmm. They don't quite fit the way they used to. And that's because sometimes they have too much spandex or too much lycra in them. Typically, you want to look for something that has no more than 5% spandex or lycra. Oh, really? You want something that has more natural cotton or natural fibers in it because it'll hold its actual form. So you brought some examples and these are all from Baldwin Denim. Absolutely, Baldwin Denim. Um, they are great about kind of having the perfect blend of cotton with spandex and just the materials that make the denim fit great but also look great. So what percentage do you want to be cotton? Typically between two and five percent is mm -hmm. where you want your spandex. So anywhere from about 95 to 99 percent, you want should to be. be cotton. Okay. How often should you wash your jeans? And this is a question we always grapple with. Does it really work to put them in the freezer? Because that freaks my husband out Absolutely. when he opens. For, like for example, you don't want to see this. Well, you don't want to see frozen it, peas. But you also never want to wash your <laughs> denim. Never. Never. Wait, so, even if you have a dog and kids, and you've been wearing them for days and never. days. Never. For if you have, you know, dog or pets that leave hair all over the place. Use a lint roller. The time you only ever want to wash your denim is if they're filthy, like you got it in mud or something like that. And even then, never, ever, ever wash your er, wash and dry your denim. Wait, if so if you wash them, don't dry them in the dryer. Okay, so we've all been doing it wrong. I mean, I always at least once a week I'm washing them and drying them. No, that's actually going to ruin the fibers of oh. it because of those natural okay. fibers, and then you'll start noticing they don't fit quite right. How many pairs of jeans should one person have? Not walla person, like a regular person. You know, you should have probably a dark denim, maybe a light denim, and then something that's more fun or stylish. And it's kind of about figuring out which ones work best for your body. Tell us about the white. White mm -hmm. denim, great for spring, right? Once spring hits, everyone's kind of pulling out their lighter mm -hmm. denim. This is something that you can dress up or down, something that has a great fit that you can do during the day for work or at night for drinks. You brought two models, so let's Absolutely. talk about the guy that you brought in first, model number one. This is how, I have not seen a lot of guys wearing the ankles folded up like that yet. Absolutely, for spring, summer, mm -hmm. show a little ankle off, right? So this, we're seeing those great Baldwin um, Henley jeans. Yeah. It's a lighter wash. So we're looking at the fit on him, fits great. It goes kind of straight from the hip all the way down to the ankle. What we did style-wise is we did a lighter fade so that he still feels fresh. This is an easy day look. We haven't really accessorized it too much. It's a great sweatshirt, great tennis shoes. He can run around all day in this and still look put together. Model number two is a lovely lady who's wearing really, really cute jeans with kind of a frayed, frayed ankle there. Yeah, and so booty. again, super stylish right now is we're seeing that great raw edge uh -huh. on the hemline, right? Here we're seeing more of a crop denim. It flares out just a little bit right before the ankle. It gives her a great shape, but this is something she could wear to the office. She's got a great trench coat, patterned shirt. She's wearing denim, but it doesn't look like she's wearing denim, oh, so it makes cool. it really easy for her to go to the office, run around, still look put together, and she's wearing jeans. You know, she's staying on trend with that raw edge, again, on the hemline, but it doesn't feel like she overdid it or that she right. was too casual wearing her denim. Really cute. So Absolutely. denim on denim, is that hard to pull off? Hard to pull off on occasion. When you're doing denim on denim, you want to do something that is a darker with a lighter. You don't want to yeah. do the same temperature or the same colors uh -huh. on your denim. We but have denim on number. denim is great. Uh, real quick, we want to get to a guy because he did a costume change. Yeah, absolutely. Your second model. So, the thing about denim is you want to do great, versatile oh, denim. That this is the same pair of denim that he was wearing yeah. before, but here we've styled it for a night look. So he changed out his shoes, he changed out kind of everything waist up. You want your denim to have kind of longevity and long-lasting uh -huh. effects so that you can wear it during the day and at night. If you're going to spend more on great denim that's got great cotton, great fabric, great material, something like that, you want to be able to wear it as much as possible. That looks really nice. Walla, thank you, thank you to our lovely model, model number one and model number two, stylist Walla with denim. Denim do's and don'ts, thank you. thank you. And after you add more denim,